How's it going, everybody? Poser Mobile here, bringing you an absolute banger list of games coming to PS Plus Essential on March 5th. Starting off, we've got Sifu. No surprise here if you saw any of the leaks yesterday about this, and it's by far the one I'm most looking forward to. Comment down below which of these four games you're most excited about. We're getting this on both PS4 and PS5, and with the added easy mode, we're looking at only a 3 out of 10 difficulty and about 15 to 20 hours or so to finish. Next up, just in time for the announcement of this year's version, we've got F1 23. I don't see myself going for this one. You're looking at an 8 out of 10 difficulty and a pretty long grind at around 100 hours. So let me know if you're a big enough racing fan to go for this, because I am not. Next up, we've got by far the easiest of the games this month to get the Platinum in. It's Hello Neighbor 2. Much easier than the first game and the spin-off Hide and Seek. This is probably a 2 out of 10 difficulty, and you can finish this one right around an hour, maybe less. I'll probably get this one done at some point. It's nice to have a quick platinum on the list for a change. Finally, we've got Destiny 2's expansion, The Witch Queen. This isn't the newest expansion. That would be Lightfall. And there's another one slated for June of this year called The Final Shape. You can get the base game for Destiny 2 for free on the PlayStation Store. And it's tough to say how long or difficult the Platinum is on this one now, since Bungie seems to keep changing how some of the trophies work. But I would expect somewhere between a 6 to an 8 difficulty, depending on whether you have a good team or not. Same with the time to finish it, maybe 80 to 150 hours, give it a wide margin. So there you have it. This month's PS Plus Essential Games. I think it's a pretty good month. Definitely excited for Sifu since I never grabbed it. And Hello Neighbor 2 is a nice, quick little platinum. Let me know in the comments what you're most excited for and what you'd rate this month. I'd give it 8 Sasha and Jacksons out of 10.